another important topic that will definitely get asked nowadays is uh, what is SAS or SCSS or less all these are like supersets of CSS and they are not related to each other they are actually rivals of each other you can say you can use any one of these technologies which are better than actual CSS now what happens is browser understands only HTML CSS and JavaScript so browser won't understand SAS or SCSS or less okay so if you're writing your style sheet in, in any one of these then it first gets transpiled to plain CSS and then it gets fed to the browser but then you'll say that what is the need of writing it in a more complex way and then transpiling it into the same old CSS well there is a need because these technologies allow you to use variables let us say that you have a color to be repeated at multiple places in your style sheet then you can just create a variable for that then you can also have mix-ins mix-ins means uh, if a style has to get repeated at multiple places uh, then also you can create a mix-in for it and just start using it and then there are extensions operators and nesting now what is nesting so nesting allows you to write the selectors that may make the structure of the HTML so for example in the HTML if you have a div and inside that you have a paragraph then you can write the styling for the paragraph inside the styling of the div okay so you can write something like this or let's make it a couple of more levels like it can be level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and this is how you can nest it so all these features are provided to you by SAS, CSS and less and that's why people are now slowly turning towards them besides while transpiling to CSS the code automatically takes care of browser incompatibilities so these were a couple of questions very important questions that can be asked in CSS interviews